<laughs> Five seconds. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Tuesday Telegram AMA. My name is Leo. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm one of the lead developers over here at Shiba Doge Labs. And if it's your first time listening in, uh, thanks for tuning in. So obviously, um, the topic of discussion that we've been having over the past few weeks here at Shiba Doge is the introduction of our launchpad system that we're pretty much bringing back to life. Uh, we've talked about this in the past before, and we've kind of put it on one side until now. Now we're finally reviving the whole idea, and uh, we are proud to announce that we are having a brand new token launch com coming to you guys straight from the launch pad. So um, if for anybody who hasn't seen, you can follow the Twitter page that I put out there. Uh, it's at SD Stealth Launch on Twitter. Um, it's also pinned uh, directly in our Telegram, so you can just click the pinned link and it'll take you there. But anyway, all of the information that will be revealed about the next launch, about the next token that we're coming out with, will be pretty much on, on here in Telegram and obviously on that Twitter page. Nowhere else. It is a 100% Stealth Launch token. So... Nobody knows um, what the name of the token is. Nobody knows the supply. Nobody knows the tax. Nobody knows the tokenomics, nothing. But since we're here now and we're only a few days away, excuse me, since we're only a few days away from the actual launch happening, um, I'll give you guys a, a little bit of a teaser of, of what to expect. So um, it is going to be a uh, very low tax token. Um, it, and then eventually, after a short period of time, it is going to transition over to a zero tax token. So it'd be um, no tax whatsoever after we transition it over. Um, all of the liquidity pool tokens are going to be burned. They're going to be sent to a dead wallet. So we're not even going to lock them up in, in like Unicrypt or any other token locker. We're just going to burn them completely, just like Pepe did and just like some of these other um, new meta projects are doing. So we're going to be do doing the same thing. Just burn them away. It's not like we're ever going to touch them anyway. <clears throat> Obviously, our reputation speaks for itself. Um, we haven't spent the last two years doing this just to not build a good reputation for our team and for our community. So we are fully putting our names uh, on the back of this and saying it is going to be 100% safe, 100% not a rug pull, 100% not anything to be worried about as far as you know. a lot of these other sketchy projects nowadays have been... Um, obviously scamming people and whatnot. So, you know, if you guys have been listening into to our conversations over the last two years or have been part of the community, or maybe it's your first time in here, um, there is hundreds or hundreds, if not thousands of hours of recorded content of, of myself, the team, a community, everything like that um, on our YouTube channel um, and also on Twitter and, you know, pretty much everywhere else. So uh, we're, I want to say we're as legit as it gets, and we're going to be doing this in a very, very fun and very, very programmatic way where uh, the goal of this is to try to snowball it, make it as big as possible, as fast as possible um, with a little twist to it. And the little twist to that is a stealth launch. So um, all of the marketing is going to come jam packed post launch. Um, we're not going to be like, okay, we launched one second after, be like, oh, well, let's go full on marketing. I mean, like, we'll give people like, you know, a little bit of time to make some positions and, and whatnot before we kind of like you know, tear people's faces off. So um, if you want to get in, day one is going to be like your best opportunity to get in. Because if you don't get in day one, you're going to miss all of the pretty much marketing that we do um, afterwards. And then you're going to probably want to be wishing that you, like, you know, I'm not going to say not because I don't want to give financial advice or anything like that, but like, if you're planning on getting in, if you're planning on getting in, in my, uh, in my opinion, you'd probably want to get in day one, but that's just, that's just what I do. So, um, you guys obviously are, uh, pretty smart people and you guys make your own decisions, how they're meant to be made. So, <laughs> um, leading up to this, I could tell you guys, I am extremely excited the theme of the project is something completely new, com completely different than what we've ever done before. Um, the supply is completely something like we've never done before. Uh, just every element of, of this speaks, 
speaks to an audience that everybody will be able to relate to. Like, I don't care what part of the world you're from. I don't care what race you are, what religion you believe in, what political party you're from. You are going to relate to this token. It relates to every person that is alive uh, in the world, in the entire world, probably even in different worlds if they exist. Like, <laughs> so um, obviously, you know, we picked a, a topic that everybody can relate to. We picked the topic that is so easily marketable um, that you can't just like, you can't deny the fact that it's going to be something that it's going to be so easy for us to market. Like, and that, that's a very important factor that we decided to, to go with that is because we wanted to make sure like, okay, uh, we, we put a bunch of things on the, on the whiteboard. We were like, okay, does it, is it, is it eye appealing? Yes. Is, is, does it sound appealing? Yes. Does everybody want to be a part of it? Yes. Does everybody have a ambition to get more of it? Yes. And like, you know, we had, we had like 20, 30 different things that we had to kind of like debate and 20, 30 different projects that we had to like cross off, um, that were possible candidates. And we finally chose this one. It, it was like a Eureka moment. Uh, P Peter and I, the first time we ever discussed this was, was completely random. Like I thought of it at my house at night, he thought of it at his, his house at night. And then in the morning, um, we both texted each other in our group chat with the rest of the guys. And we, we, we both, <laughs> we both wrote the same thing. We were like, no way. You just thought of that. Cause I just thought of that too. And anyway, from that point on, we were like, all right, this is what, this is what we're going to go with. So <clears throat> give me one second here. I'm getting a, oh. okay. All right. But anyway, um, so we checked all those boxes off and now, like I said, since we're only days away from, from us actually stealth launching this thing, uh, the next form of marketing that I'm going to be doing, uh, is going to be Twitter spaces. So I'll be hosting a lot of Twitter spaces in the next coming days with, um, that stealth launch Twitter. Um, we will be pretty much trying to talk with people, go into different Twitter spaces, host our own Twitter spaces. Um, uh, more than likely we'll probably just be hosting our own Twitter spaces, um, just because we want people to come to us rather than us go and try to like get attention from other people, especially since, um, it is a kind of a generic page where like, if I go into, uh, a random Twitter space, chances of people, you know, bringing me up to speak are pretty, pretty low. Cause it is a new page. Nobody knows what it is just yet. So we'll be hosting our own Twitter page, uh, spaces. I'll probably get a ho a co-host, uh, to sponsor it, or maybe I can co-host it with my account and then also the Shiba Doji account. Uh, and I don't, how many co-hosts can you have Ruth? It's, is it only two or you could have more? Two. Can you hear me? Okay. The two co-hosts, 10 two speakers. Co okay. So, Okay, so for sure we'll use the Shiba Doji account as one of the co-hosts, and then um, we'll choose another co-host. Maybe, yeah, we could choose Roof, or or we can hire like you know one of those guys that have like hundreds of thousands of followers and have them co-host or something. Like, we'll we'll figure it yeah. out. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll do something fun. Um, but realistically, I think that's going to be the next path to growth, and then the next path to growth. Um, I mean, not the next path to growth, but but the next step is when people start coming into the telegram, um, obviously like the OGs that have been here, um, like it's, it's kind of going to be up to you guys to, to kind of like show new people, uh, the ways. Cause obviously like the ways in, in the telegram, uh, for Shiba Doge have been pretty, pretty like well put out there for everybody to understand is like, yo, we're not like a, a random group of guys that don't know what they're doing. Like we've been around for two years. Like it's very simple. You know, I'm not saying like school these people. I'm just telling, telling you guys like, Hey, if they ask like dumb questions, like, you know, at least we have like a backbone, a community of people to be like, Nope, you guys are wrong. Like these guys are legit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's really going to help us because there is no other project that kind of like starts new projects and, um, or, or a new project that just comes to life and people coming in there and being like, Oh, who, who's the dev? What have they done before? It's like, nah, like we have a backbone. We have a massive community of people who pretty much
pretty much know what we're capable of, what we've done, what we've built. And that is going to give us a very, very strong, um, a very, very strong head start compared to pretty much anybody else that does this because they don't have that. So, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting guys. Like we have a lot of things that we have planned. Uh, we want to do like YouTube takeovers. Uh, we want to have videos everywhere. We want to have content everywhere. Uh, the token is going to release with, um, multiple press, uh, releases. So we have, uh, big companies writing articles about the, 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 the project itself. Um, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be nice. It's going to be big. It's going to be something that you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised with. But the next course of action is at this point, you know, you guys have heard enough about this until the actual time comes for us to talk about the actual reveal of what the project is. The next step of action is to literally go ham on Twitter and just keep hitting the Twitter spaces and reaching that new audience because the, the, the Shiba, the Shiba Doge stealth launch, Twitter, let me tell you guys right now, in a matter of two days, I've had this thing active for two days and I've done zero marketing, absolutely zero marketing, other than sharing the posts in here in Telegram and retweeting a couple of the posts with um, the Shiba Doge official Twitter. Uh, let me tell you guys exactly how many, oh, that's funny. Right now, as of right now, we have 888 followers. That's funny. Um, but in terms of, Impressions, we were able to get 24,000 total impressions uh, at a 30% engagement rate, which is pretty crazy. That That is, those are good numbers. So in 48 hours, we were able to accomplish that with zero marketing other than a retweet here and there from the main page. I think we're building a monster. I, I absolutely do think we're building a monster, but we do have to capitalize on the Twitter spaces. Now is probably like, like today, today's AMA should have been in Twitter. Like that was a big, big mess up for me by, by not scheduling a Twitter space today. Like I didn't think of it at the moment, but it's okay. We're, we're going to do them. I want to schedule schedule, like probably two, at least two for this week. So Friday for sure. Um, and possibly, possibly either Friday and Saturday or Thursday and Friday. So um, after this call, I'll pretty much try to, figure out whether I want to do Thursday or Friday or Friday and Saturday, and then we'll go from there. But realistically, like, you know, a couple hours of Twitter spaces um, this week and then more next week is going to be entirely necessary. Uh, and then guys also like, feel free to do your best in, in shilling too. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, you guys are shilling a, a stealth launch. So I, I get it. Oh, like yeah, nobody knows awesome. what we're shilling. <laughs> That's yeah, the that's the problem. Yeah, we're trying to keep this under our cap, bro. We ain't shit. Yeah. Not in, bro, till we get in. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't just, shit. I know. Not in. We keep I know, I know. Line, bro. Yeah. I know, that's the problem. That's the problem, I know. It's kind of like a double standard in a way, man. And that's why. that's how, like, I feel right now, too, where I'm like, man, it's a stealth launch, but it's like, we can't not do, like, any type of pre-launch so it's like all right let's let's market the stealth launch but nobody even knows what day we're coming out you get what i'm saying so um, yeah us, us having these um these telegram amas i guess it gives the telegram people a little bit more alpha because like realistically i'm gonna when, when we release the project like i'm obviously gonna post everything in telegram first and then like immediately go straight to twitter afterwards so anybody in telegram is gonna get like a little bit of a head start so um I mean, that's the, that's the ups of being a part of the community, I guess. So, Leo, just to confirm, the, the, the first announcement will be here on Telegram. Uh, yeah, it will be. It will be. Okay. I have, no, straight I have to a Twitter. funny feeling. I have a funny so feeling what? we're going to have another 6,000 people on Telegram. Mm, not if I do Twitter spaces, bro. If I do Twitter spaces and I'm just telling people, like, because, look, what, what, what the last – um, launch with burn where there was like 3000 people in the voice call, or I think it was like 2000 people in the voice call. That's cause it was like, okay, Hey, we're launching on April 20th at 4 20 PM. Everybody was just like, all right, cool. This is when I need to be there. I need to be there. Like, but if you don't give them a date and you don't give them a time, like, you know, what are the chances these people are going to be glued to their phone nonstop 
without like any idea of what day or what time to be looking at it. So, so that, that deletes a lot of people, but people will immediately get the notifications when the shilling starts afterwards where they're like, yo, I just bought it. I just got this, the, the new token. And then, and then everybody starts like swarming over. So they're like, oh, yo, they launched, they launched. And, and that's when, that's when it's like going to start ramping up. So I think the first, like, not to say like, it's not going to be, be busy. I don't think it's going to be like, even 10% as busy as the burn launch was. And if it is, Four I'll days. be 100% surprised. I'll be 100% Four surprised days. because like, how would people know, right? Like it's going to be to a point where you guys aren't even going to know, like anything came from the Shiba Doge deployer because that's how stealth it is that we're not even using any of the ETH that has been linked to the Shiba Doge deployer ever. So people who are like, oh, I'm going to scour the blockchain to see, you know, uh, if I could find any tokens that are related to to the Shiba Doge deployer and see if they deployed anything new. Like, no, bro, like nothing is going to link back because that's how stealth we want to keep it. So um, good luck. You know, if you're trying to figure it out beforehand, you're not going to. <laughs> Leah, could Yo. you give us a time frame? As in, like, would it be the first seven days, first 10 days, first five days, or are we going to get more info about that? Later on. I'll talk about, it, it, it will be the first 10 days. It will 100% be the first 10 days of, of uh, September. Cool. Yeah. And, like you'll tell us a few days before, or is that the last warning kind of thing? Um, I might come into Telegram and be like telling you guys like either the day before or the day of or something. I'll be like, hey, guys, maybe you want to be a little extra um, – a little extra attentive today or tomorrow or something, you know, like I'll give you guys a little hint, like when to, when to be a little more attentive, you know, like I'll be like, Hey, turn your notifications on today. Like something might happen, yeah. you know? So, I think that's a good idea. Right, let's go. Before. Let's yeah. go. Ahead, Commun community will turn up, bro. We'll show the shit out. Yeah, of yeah. Thing. So some of us might have to rearrange schedules and stuff. Cause I plan on being, you know, we're going to, we want to hold Twitter spaces, right? We're going to, we're going to have Twitter going. Yeah, hundred percent. Twitter, every, yeah. like I want to have, I want to have Telegram going too. But, but realistically, like in today's meta, like you have to be on Twitter. That's it. Like, like the Telegram is good when you have an established community of people who, and you like kind of like oh, we're doing what we were doing for a very long time, and just like updating people and building stuff for that people and and whatnot. But like, you know, right now, uh, I feel like it's a it's a big Twitter sp space meta, and then a lot of what these guys are doing um, is they're they're collaborating with, with different co-hosts. So, you know, you, you hire a, a guy who's got like a million followers and you have them just co-host your thing. And then you, you know, you're, you're automatically at the top of the list of, of, um, Twitter spaces and correct me if I'm wrong, but like, at least that's what I've been observing. Um, people have been doing. So, uh, I don't know if we're going to like build like a, like a, a crypto influencer, like, um, like, cult like how a lot of these guys do where it's just like those same crypto influencers that have built somewhat of a bad reputation for like some of the projects they've worked with and other people like don't like to mess with the projects that they call out anymore or they just start fighting it so i don't know if we'll go that route but i definitely 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 want to build like a team of crypto influencers for the next project as well so i mean i'm not gonna be in charge of that that's that's all max's forte anyway so he'll build a massive team of you know what he knows will work anyway we so, got ruth uh, bro we got ruth top influencer right now so all exactly <laughs> roof is an international superstar <laughs> bro, i'm nothing bro nothing else i'm nothing bro yeah i think the, i think the telegram is really important because they use that to shill like they'll oh. put that here the best way to you know, do it is, yeah, junkie. The, I think the best way to do it is when we have a Twitter space, we shut the Telegram down and we let tell everyone. We put the link, pin the link. Everyone that comes in, we tell them to join the Twitter space. Once the Twitter space is over, we we come back and open the VC back up. Like yeah. so, we yeah. can direct people to the Twitter okay. space, and then like this is like home. Everyone comes back and chills. Yeah, then we do it like. Even the community can open Twitter spaces. Anybody, like, you can just go and open a space and we'll all go and jump in your space. Sonny can open one, we'll all go and jump Bro. in there. So we got 24-7 Twitter spaces Wait. going. Yeah, exactly. Chances are, like, the first week... 
Yeah, chances are the first week of launch or like the first like three to five days, like chances are I'm not going to sleep. Like chances are I'm probably going to just be getting like one hour naps here and there just to like be sane. But there's a lot that needs to happen. Like um, we, we're going to put on our roadmap. Like obviously you guys know we didn't, we didn't really want to have a roadmap, but we built somewhat of a roadmap onto onto the project. And like, you know, one of the things that are on there is is a Binance listing. We want the Binance listing. And I think, I think with the supply that we've gone with and the name and everything else, like the branding behind it, it's something like, you know, very, very appealing to, like I said, to the entire world, but, but especially to like, you know, these tier one exchanges too. So kind of what we did in a sense too, was like what we've built is like, all right, we're building something that tier one exchanges would want, not like something that like, you know, it just sounds like just like a Fugazi and like people are like, Oh, well, look, another, just another Bro. thing like that. Yeah. So, so it's catered to not only the consumer, Bro. but we also wanted to cater to exchanges as well, because like, uh, you know, I'm tired of the Mickey mouse exchanges, man. Let's be real. Like I'm tired of the Mickey mouse exchanges. Like I want Binance. Um, we even wrote, we even wrote some other bigger ones on there that are goals like Robin hood and, um, uh, even uh, we're, we're, we're right now we're trying to figure out what's going on with Twitter X.com. Cause they just got approved for um, crypto trading on their platform. So we want to be one of the first ones on there as well. Um, so, you know, uh, we got somebody looking into what the process on that is going to be, even though it's still mm-hmm. in a very oh, early man. stage. Yeah. going to give me mad FOMO right now, bro. It, nothing's even happened. I'm sorry, Sonny, but but this on on this one everybody's gonna have FOMO. I could tell you that for sure, man. Like we're gonna like that's part of our job with this next one is to show people what the power of FOMO can do and try to bring this thing to like you know like a crazy crazy run up. Like that's our goal. Like we want we want people to win on this. Like we want our community. We want everybody who's involved in this to like find massive success in it. Like if that happens, then it's like all right, perfect. Like mission accomplished the launch pad is a success and it will continuously keep growing all of shiba doge for however long we decide to have the launch pad active right and keep bringing new stuff and like that's the thing is like people will be like all right cool like this project this shiba doge labs team they know what they're doing i want to be a part of all of their projects i want to invest in this that uh the other one the nfts everything else that they come out with in the future, I want to make sure I'm a part of it. Just like Board API Club, right? Board API Club, anytime they release an item, it's automatically sold out in seconds because people want to be a part of it. They know like the team behind it is is great. And you know, that's what we want to achieve achieve as well. And then obviously with like the society um coming out simultaneously too, like we're gonna announce the society um, very, very soon, um, after the launch. And we're going to use like the attention from the launch to simultaneously kind of like introduce the society to thousands and thousands of people at the same time too. So, you know, there's going to be catalyst on catalyst here. Um, we're building more catalysts, you know, through the days right now, um, it's all hands on deck. Um, we're, we're, we're at our office right next door, is um, pretty much Alex and Peter. They're sitting down um, on a call with our uh, web engineers, and you know they're they're tidying up the the websites and you know some other things that we're building. Um, we're also going to have a, a AI uh, built in to the project as well. Um, and <laughs> I'll spill the beans. I'll spill the beans. We're 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 going to have a AI dev. So we've hired a AI dev. Not, not, not hired is the wrong word. We've created a AI dev to be, you know, one of what be like one of us to be like a Leo to be to be like a Max, right? So um, I don't know if any other projects have ever done that. Maybe they have. Maybe they haven't. I mean, it doesn't matter. But it's funny because when you go to our website, you'll be able to directly speak to one of the AI devs, and it is uh, it's going to be a vibe, man. People are going to love it. Leo. Can you not do Twitter spaces before we launch, man? Just keep it here, bro. Don't go to Twitter, man. We promise you we'll shield the shit out of it. <laughs> Just don't do any Twitter spaces, bro. Don't tell the world. Let us get in. Don't do Twitter. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, I'm sorry, man. I wish I can. I, look, I'm not giving anybody any details, bro. So at least there's still that going. Um, and actually, I was just scroll. I was just scrolling through the participant list over here, and I saw Chris Scott. And Chris Scott asked uh, asked me something in the in a DM the other day. Uh, he he said, "Is there going to be a max transaction in the max wallet?" Um, so let's talk about that for a minute because that was a good question. Um, right at launch. So we, we talked about with the team, like, do we want to do that? And the answer to that question is right at launch. Yes, we do want to have a max wallet. Um, we did initially want to have a max transaction too, but I think we're, we're wiping that. We're not going to have a max transaction. Uh, people will be able to buy a max wallet. If they want to buy a max wallet, that's fine. We're not going to limit people. We did that with burn and people, uh, uh were kind of upset with that. Um, not only were they upset, but like, people were like, Hey, I'm trying to buy one ETH. It's not letting me buy one ETH. Like what's the problem? And, and then, you know, they were getting angry and, and, and by the time they knew it, market cap was like 20, 30, 40 million. And they're like, all right, well, I'm not going to buy anymore. So, um, so yeah, we're not going to do a max transaction. So you'll be able to buy, you know, a max wallet. If you want the max wallet will also be lifted probably like, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes into the launch, we'll lift the max wallet. So there will be a, uh, there won't be any cap. Like right now with, um, Shiba Doge, it's a, I believe a 1% max wallet. Um, with, with the launch pad token, it, there will be no cap on the max wallet after like 15, 30 minutes or whatever. So, um, you'll be able to buy as much as you want. If we see like the market cap goes crazy, like before, before 30 minutes and it's sitting at like 10, 20 million or whatever, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll raise it earlier before that. Cause then obviously it's going to become very expensive to buy more than the max wallet anyway, but we want the max wallet to be somewhere like uh, around 0.5, anywhere between 0.5 to 1%. So, so that's what it's going to be for the first like 15 to 30 minutes. And then it'll, it'll go to unlimited. So you'll be able to buy as much as your heart desires. Hey, uh, what's up, guys? Um, I'm sorry, I might have missed it. What's the starting market cap again? Um, since it is a stealth launch, bro, I'm going to keep that under wraps. But if you look at like our previous launches uh, with Shiba Doge and with Burn, like we've done anywhere between like 25 to, well, actually, Burn was 250k um, total liquidity. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be anywhere from like. Just, just to give you guys like an idea, it'll be anywhere between fifty to two hundred k. So it's going to be oh, kind, kind of low. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. man. Cool. All right. Nice. Thank you so much for that. Yep. No worries. Question on YouTube: When will there be a new exchange for Shiba Doge? That's a good question. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of heads up, um, we, we had, we, we had announced one exchange, um, earlier, I think like three months ago, two months ago, and they still hadn't listed us. So here's a, here's a fun little story for you guys right now. We're like going back and forth with these guys, because I guess the guy who was hired as our listing agent, um, <clears throat> He either quit or got fired. Or I don't know what the exact story is, but anyway, we're dealing with like an issue with these guys. Um, I think the guy who was working for them as the listing agent did some shady things and either, either didn't do his work or either took their money and never paid the exchange. So pretty much kind of like screwed us and screwed the exchange they were working for or I don't know exactly what the story is because I'm not the one dealing with it. I just kind of like overheard it the other day. Um, but I know there's something shady going on with that last exchange that we announced. So obviously like for anybody wondering why we haven't gotten listed there, it's because some, some shady shit happened. And this is why I hate those tier two, tier three exchanges sometimes because man, like, like, look at Hotbit, right? Like we, we got listed with Hotbit. Like they were a good exchange, obviously. Like I had no issues with them. But they're bankrupt now. It's like, you never know. Like these guys are here now. We paid them tens of thousands. I think like $40,000 at the time um, to get listed. Plus we gave them $40,000 uh, worth of the token to, to match the listing. So it's like, we're in $80,000 with this random, you know, hot bit exchange. And then boom, all of a sudden they close, close the doors and people have still tokens locked in there and it's just a headache. So um, I don't think we're going to be listing on any tier two 
may, maybe if it's a good tier two, we'll list on it. But like, I don't think like we have any more intention of like listing on tier three or lower end tier two exchanges anymore. Um, at this point right now, it's like tier one or nothing. Um, and with the next launch that's coming up right now, since it is built to cater to tier one exchanges and kind of like be something that will pop up on their radar. Um, you know, if we get, if we get listed on the big tier one exchange, um, with the new launch token, um, that will open up an opportunity for us to have conversations with these people on a different level than we already currently have. Uh, so I think the, the chances of getting all of our other projects listed on those tier one exchanges will be exponentially higher moving forward, considering, you know, like if we're able to get through that, that, that hurdle in the beginning. Um, so I don't have any announcement on, on future listings, uh, for, for Shiba Doge right now, but that could very quickly change, you know, over the next coming couple of weeks, depending on how things go. Hey, Leo. Hey, what's up, brother? Like they're going to, they're going to come to you for, to, for, to, that they want to list you. Are they going to have to buy their tokens off the market? Um, not that they're going to come to us. We're still going to go to them, but it's going to be something where it's like, Hey, like, or maybe they will come to us. Like you never know, but, but realistically, like, I think it's just, you know, we're, we're still going to have to approach them. But, but in, in terms of like, what I mean, like they're going to want us is like, they, you know, you can't say no to like what we're going to be offering them. So, um, and also, yes, like, um, so this is how it works, Jackie. Like when you get listed on, on an exchange, like, a, um, you, you, you supply them with a certain amount of a listing fee. So like, let's say that number is 10, 10 grand, for example. Um, and, and every exchange, I think other than Binance and other than Coinbase has that, um, Binance, Binance buys all of their tokens, but everywhere else you have to supply a very small pool of you know whatever amount of liquidity you're providing plus you have to match it with the amount of tokens so that's why people uh put tokens aside for for exchange listings um so like let's say if i'm supplying them 10 grand of liquidity or a listing fee i also need to supply them with 10 grand worth of worth of to worth of tokens and then um if they need more then yes they buy them themselves at that point you never supply them more with more afterwards like if they ever need more or if their customers are buying more and they run out of what they they've currently been provided with then they they have to go buy it off of off of the decentralized exchanges like uniswap and and whatnot so so yeah that's how that works but with with binance you don't supply them anything um you, they, they automatically just go and buy their position after they list um, and then also just to mention, like, there are going to be no team tokens. Like we're not going to have a, a team allocation, you know, like we're going to keep everything fair. Um, if you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy just like the rest of you guys are on chain, like, you know, fair and square, like, you know, we're not going to have, we're not going to have any team tokens, uh, distributed towards, towards, uh, the, the team or anybody else. It's pretty much going to be completely fair. The only allocations that are going to be set aside are, are literally going to just be for exchanges and, you know, and I think that's pretty much it. Exchanges and what else do we need it for? That's it. Yeah. Just exchanges, I, I believe. So, so it's going to be, you know, diversified extremely, extremely fairly, extremely well. Like people are going to, people are going to love how this is set up. It's, it's probably like, you know, we always say I, we love DeFi. We love decentralized um, functions. We love decentralization. I think like all of our projects are fully decentralized in my opinion, but this is probably going to be the most decentralized because of like the distributions are going to be so like, they're going to be so perfect, you know, and the community is going to be um, fully, fully on board with the exchanges, the community, like everything is going to be fully like, you know, diversified amongst the holders fairly. So yeah, I think it's going to be perfect. Thank you for that. No problemo. But yeah, so for sure. Like, I mean, leading into the launch, like, I don't want to be having, um, you know, telegram calls with like 30, 40 people because, uh, you know, uh, no matter what, like we need, we do need, like yeah, as much as I don't want to do the Twitter spaces because of the, the stealth factor and the stealth element, like, I feel like we, we need to do it to build more, more people into like, you know, the community, like it's at the end of the day, like this is a community building exercise as well. You know, and so if we don't like get the full value out of it, you know, it's kind of, 
kind of defeats the purpose of like growing Shiba Doge Labs. So, so I promise to you guys, like I won't ever burn the project out, the stealth factor of it, but I, I do have to go on Twitter space and reach a, reach a bigger audience as well. Like that's, that's something that just needs to happen. Yeah. Um, what I noticed, <laughs> yeah, well, what I, yeah, I was just going to say, what I noticed with, um, a lot of these projects that are launching, the exchanges are coming and just buying it straight off the, of Uniswap, you know, because they're FOMOing because of the volume, you know, so I don't know. If, I don't know if that happens or if it doesn't happen or, um, I mean, I know it happens because it happened with us. Like, um, we had Hopit and we had a couple other exchanges going crazy and buying, buying Shiba Doge tokens, like, like they were hotcakes at one point. So, so yeah, I mean, I get it, but I mean, we are in a, we are in a meme coin meta right now. So yeah, I could definitely see why exchanges would be jumping on things once they have a little bit of traction. So, I mean, hopefully that happens. Hopefully that's the case with us too, man. I mean, yeah, I, I really do hope so. Long as we get the, I think as long as we get the volume and we can build that community where they can come in and see the hype in the community and the community building, because that's a big factor for them, the community itself. If they see that, then I think they'll be jumping on you guys, man, to list us. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think I think that's going to be easy um, because the community factor is already like kind of, kind of checked off right like we don't have to worry too much about yeah. like, the community factor there's 15k people in here we have 80k twitter followers on the main uh mother mothership token page like um i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be good as far as the community factor goes um the the biggest uh, thing that we have to focus on making sure we accomplish is the fomo factor right so we're gonna have to be going extremely hard balls to the walls type type marketing and no more Mr. Nice Guy, man. You know, like, yeah. we're going to go and we're going to take over. We're going to take over the market. That's it. So what I mean by community factor, I don't mean the community, the amount of people that they're seeing that, that are here. Like, the act activity of the community. The activity, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it is. The FOMO, the yeah. activity, making sure everyone's going crazy. Like, in here, imagine if they come in here and they see, you know, a few hundred people just going crazy and hyped uh, they, they just FOMO. They, that's what they love, man. What I've been noticing anyways when I've been out there checking things out. They do. Yes. They do, man. Social I love that shit too. Engagement. I was just going to say social media engagement is quite important. Um, that's definitely what's getting a lot of these tokens to take off. Um, so some of the projects are uh, like doing as much as like a million to five million um, like tweets or retweets and whatnot on Twitter. And that's definitely getting the attention of projects. Um, so I think, ob obviously, if you can um, employ that, if you can get the community working, obviously, to, to like sort of shield the project in an ethical way to market the project, that definitely pays dividends. So that's, that's generally what's happening with all the big projects. And a few of the exchanges are just buying their tokens without them without even with the team not having to approach them for listings and stuff like that so yeah volume's obviously key that's probably the number one metrics because at the end of the day the exchanges are a business and they want to make money and then yeah social media engagement's probably number two concrete 100%. smelt the money baby concrete smelt the money <laughs> yeah man no, good, good to see you good to see you in your concrete yeah man um but yeah, definitely. I agree with everything you said, bro. You, look, at the end of the day, the people who participate, like the exchanges, you're right. You're 100% right. They are a business and they do want to make money. There is nothing else that they want more than to make money. Like they don't care about community. They don't care about the stuff that us as, um, you know, creators or uh, investors or whatever care about. Their main goal is that, hey, they're a business. Let's make the right business moves and let's make money. So um, if we can present ourselves as a project that is going places, then yes, best believe like, best believe everyone and their mom, including the exchanges will want to buy. So yeah. I think that's going to be the goal. The goal is to be everywhere. Um, hit marketing, right? You know, just be everywhere. Just hit it, hit, hit the wall hard, like try to break the whole wall down. And then yeah. when you break the wall down, go for the next wall. So you know, that's what we're going to do. And the first seven days are going to be very crucial because, you know, we want to form that snowball. We want to create that snowball and we want to, we want to push it down the hill and then, then make it, 
make it um, into something massive. So, I mean, realistically speaking, like what happens in the first week of a, of a successful launch, like it'll go up, it'll shoot up. And then there is some sort of like resistance. And then, you know, there's some sort of sell off and then it goes and creates new highs. And then that same thing happens again for like a, a, a moment and then boom, it just takes off again. So um, it can't just go up forever. Right. Like that's not, that's obviously nope. not like what anybody expects. But hopefully, like if we could keep the marketing strong and if we could keep the message strong and if we could keep being in front of everybody's eyes and and whatnot, like I, I'm not worried whatsoever. Like I think we're gonna have a a very fun and successful time um, dealing with this next token. So uh, I, I think it's gonna do nothing but but good for our community and for the people who participate. So hopefully, I'm right. Number one utility community. That's what we're gonna do. Build community. That builds the flaws. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think some of the exchanges also, um, I've noticed with some projects, I've done some, just checked a few projects, found out a few bit of information. Some of them also do it to gain members as well. So they'll make less money, but they get the members to join the exchanges. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it gives a lot of exposure, right? Like, um, imagine, like, if you have like twenty thousand people who are like interested on 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 this project, and they're looking at the tweets every moment, and they're looking at you know everything that we put out on social media, um, like daily. Those exchanges are going to be like, hey, that's twenty thousand eyes of marketing. Like, let's get on that. Let's let's yep. let's have them start talking about us. So it. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, anyone want to come up? Just unmute and speak, man. One thing I have noticed as well is um, all of these projects that have been doing super well, they've been using the same marketing agency. They've been using that brother's marketing agency. So I know XRP are using them, Bitcoin used them, Pepe2 used them, even the original Pepe used them, and they're all using the same marketing agency. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I think that's... That's definitely a something which will help push a project further because they just seem to be um, all of the good projects are just aligning themselves with the same firm. Um, I don't really know too much about them, but I have seen sort of their price list and like their social engagement and their reach and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I think that's... Gotcha. What did you say they're called? Brothers Marketing Agency? Brothers? Yeah, yeah, I can um I can say I can send you um a I already link. sent you I already sent you Leo, remember I, last last hangout. Oh, I sent yeah, you yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Gotcha. I sent you yeah, yeah, I okay, sent you okay. so yeah. the same one. I sent you two, I sent you brothers and the advisor as well. The advisor and brothers are separate. So brothers is the marketing team, they've got worldwide marketing reach and um the the advisor he's got inside contact with all the exchanges and especially Binance and Coinbase. So man, okay, he can perfect. get you if you got the if if brothers can get the holder base them um, up and the volume up uh, with you guys of course if you can push it to a certain volume and market cap then the advisor can then speak to his inside person in Binance and get you straight in at a very discounted price as well. So that's why, but well, I sent you all that. Got you, got you, okay. So so Brothers is the marketing agency that everybody's been using and the the other one was JN, JNR, you said? Yes, yes, he's the advisor. So they work alongside each other, Brothers and JNR. For example, the other project had an issue, right, where Twitter um, banned their account, right? To ban the account. So what they done? They they sent a flipping van with the with a big post on it and parked it right in front of the door of Twitter, saying unban my account and with all the socials on there. And they got banned Im unbanned immediately. <laughs> that's crazy, oh, man, right? That's funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then they pasted that's that all pretty, over Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And then they pasted that all over Twitter with the photos of the van with all the 
marketing with all the you know branding on the van itself and he was just parked outside twitter's headquarters and he was just saying you know this project you know on banners from twitter because i couldn't get through to them through the normal routes so brothers came up with that idea to do that you know and it yeah. worked and he got a lot of exposure you know on twitter everyone was talking about it um but man like these guys have got contacts in saudi arabia they've got contacts in china they they know how to take you to the next level like they'll literally sit in the ama and say to them like look you know like next target 250 mil this is this is kind of what we're going to do and then next target 500 mil i mean they literally near enough guaranteeing it you know that they can do it so <laughs> and which projects have these guys worked with like that you guys are saying like all Pepe. The projects, like, Pepe, they, the they're responsible for pepe getting on binance yep. <laughs> so, so they're huge they've done pepe and that's um that made them explode and then they've done that bitcoin which went to 200 million um they're working with xrp um they're working with more they've done pepe too um, they're working with multiple projects. Um, they work with uh, Suka last year, which went to 600 million. And so they've got a massive portfolio. And yeah, their marketing packages can start anywhere from, I think it's like 3K, but they can go up to millions if you wanted to spend ridiculous amounts of money because they've got packages which will target um each region of the world so if you wanted a marketing campaign which would just target for example somewhere like australia alone they can offer that and they'll show you like um what their footfall is how many people they can sort of target like it's really structured packages that they offer so they can literally target any region of the world or all of the world and they're connected with every single influencer all of the exchanges all of the dexes like they can get fast track de dex tools trending or fast track literally fast track anything like anything you wanted they can they can literally provide it yep okay that's right. actually pretty good yeah I mean, even if you wanted like um like um airports like um dubai airport or something like that like a marketing camp campaign in there or or burj khalifa they've done burj khalifa for kishu um in 21 so they're an established marketing agency they've been around for a long time they can literally get everything um i believe floki even used them and that's that's how they got on the london underground um so yeah they it's not just um crypto advertising they can actually do real world advertising as well they're they're huge they've just got connections everywhere yep and they post it on their own pay twitter page as well um so our project would be on there and that they've got they've got a crazy amount of followers followers on that but yeah man, i love the way they i've heard them speak a couple of times i mean he comes on i think he's, he's based in the uk that that he is and man they they literally tell you man like expect this dip and then you'll be like this is what we're going to do and soon we're going to hit 250 mil and it's near enough guaranteeing it you know and busy and he also yeah, well yeah and well he, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, re we're gonna reach out to them for sure so yeah so um i'll have i'll have um max get in contact with them like immediately nice. like tomorrow hopefully. nice yeah nice and uh, they're selective as well which yep. is a really good thing about them they, they won't just work with anyone yep um so obviously because this is an established project they're 100 going to work with you um but they do turn down brand new projects with no history so they're not just it's, they they don't just take the money and will mark it for everyone which is why they've got such a good reputation um yeah. they're really selective so well you heard with an established project which has been out since christmas eve 21 they're 100 percent going to work with you guys and they're, they're yeah yeah to support you in whichever way you want yeah if you look at our resume like what we've been able to accomplish on our own you know like sold out pretty much eighteen thousand nfts uh 250 plus million market cap on shiba doge um you know burn launch being one of the biggest launches in the history of decentralized token launches like as far as far as like you know 
a hype launch goes like i mean we've done some pretty big stuff on our own so i mean i don't see yeah. anyone wanting to turn us down for anything <laughs> yeah and you've done some huge things that, that 250 million market cap at the time you achieved it at the start of a bear market where everyone was panicking and rushing out of the market it's exactly. actually incredible right yeah. if, if you had done that if you had launched like six months before, you probably would have hit a billion, maybe even two without billion or something like that. So you would have probably hit two a doubt. million in the first week. <laughs> so. Without a doubt. I mean, look what, look what, like, like Shinja, for example, you know, they, they were a month earlier than us and, and they reached the uh, one point something billion. So, you know, that, that just goes to show you, like we had a, we had a faster growth rate than, than Shinja, but the bear market was literally in its like, beginning phase when we launched so that that kind of bottlenecked us a little bit so yeah I, I do agree with that statement like if we were a month early the chances of us hitting one or two billion were almost guaranteed you know at the time so yeah i, I do agree with we're that. gonna deal with this token bro we're gonna deal with this one no worry that's gonna be even more impressive sonny if we're if we're able to do if we're able to do a billion with this one in the prime of a, uh, a bear market, in the longest crypto bear market in history that's ever happened. If we're able to hit a billion, that's hey, it. We're guess legends. What? Like, guess what? We're yeah. going to do it quicker than Pepe did it. Let's go. And I hope so. I hope so, my friend. Marketing yeah. going, bro. Get the marketing going. The community is here. So let's go. He made it clear. See, Leo, that would be, Leo, that would be amazing. If we can run it up faster than Pepe. That would be an accomplishment. Why not, bro? Let's aim yeah. higher, bro. And right now, there's a lot of um, like FUD that's been going on around Pepe, so it might not be a bad time, right? Because people are like looking for other other plays right now. Um, they're looking for that next Pepe, I guess. I mean, so yeah, Pepe, you're I mean, talking about <laughs> Pepe two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Pepe exactly. Out. I'm peppered out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pepe out as well. And when you say Pepe two, which Pepe two, which Pepe three? There's too many derivatives yeah. of of the same thing right now. Exactly. <laughs> so this this what we're doing is completely different than anything that is on the market right now. And that's what is going to make us stand out as well. Like people are going to look at this and be like, Oh shit, this is not a Pepe one, two, three, four, nine, 12, 30, whatever. Right. They're going to be like, Holy shit. This is a, this is a brand new trend. Like, I love it. Like, let's, let's do this. Like, let's get into this. So, um, you know, that, that was another strategic, like, I mean, we could have very easily done a stupid Pepe derivative and called it a day and hit like a $10 million market cap and done some, something dumb. And, you know, been like okay cool guys let's do something else now like yeah we could have easily done that but that, that would have been the lazy thing to do that would have been the irresponsible thing to do like and we're more creative than that right so um yeah i mean we're definitely doing it in in a, in a flashy style <laughs> yeah for sure man it's gonna be crazy bro like something fresh man <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> this shit's driving us crazy yeah. all the shit we're seeing right now um yeah, and the JR guy I was telling you, the link I sent you, um, like he made it clear, man, like he is not going to just take on any project because his reputation's at stake, you know? Like he's going to make sure the dev team are, I mean, we're, you're clean, bro. Our dev team, yeah, are clean, man. They, it's, you, they'll he'll jump on you, but like he just needs to make sure that who's working with are serious about taking it to these levels, to the billion dollar levels. That's what he says. He wants you to be serious, like, Obviously, you are, but other projects is let down because he didn't feel they were serious, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, 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 that's a good thing, you know, that they don't just onboard anybody. That makes, in, in, in my eyes, it makes them more valuable to me because it's like, okay, cool. Like, you're not just working with some randos just to, like, make an extra five grand or two grand or whatever, you know? Like, they're, they're handpicking and curating who they want to work with. So that means that they're doing... They're, they're, they're trying to build a reputation just like how we're trying to continuously keep building a good reputation. So, you know, exactly. I respect that. Exactly, bro. Yeah. 10,000x, baby. Hey, there he is. <laughs> how you doing? Good, bro. How are you? Pretty good. How's everything? No, I can't complain, man. Working hard, hardly working, you know, both of the things. That's good. 
hope for the best for the success. How's your boy, man? That's How's it, your man. boy? How's your boy? Oh, boy. How's your boy What's Hex, your boy? man? Hex, you know your boy Hex, with the guy who was, was walking out with a 10 flipping suitcases worth of flipping clothes, bro. He's good. <laughs> What the hell's his name, man? That dude, man. Che Pulse Hart? Chain. Pulse Ch yeah, Richard, bro. How's Richard? With all his uh, money. Richard Hart. He's good. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> <laughs> that, guy, dude, that guy is funny, man. Like, some of the memes that people were posting with him, like, having, like, Louis Vuitton bags in his mouth and stuff. Yeah. Dude, I was dying. <laughs> oh, Did you see him God. twerking, bro? Did you see the guy twerking? What the hell? <laughs> No, I don't think I am. <laughs> oh my god, you didn't see the guy twerking in the Louis Vuitton clothes and everything, bro. No, no. No. <laughs> no. You like Richard Hart, huh? Bro. <laughs> bro. No. Of course not, bro. I would never invest in a project if someone if Leo was doing that shit, bro, I'd be gone, bro. I'd be like, yo. Do what? Man's what moving on. <laughs> If Leo was twerking on video, bro, <laughs> I'm like, I can't take every, this guy serious, coin, man. Every coin is dumb. Everybody's going after the security. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's not Richard Hart. You know Don't I mean? worry, bro. 10,000 X is coming. Yeah. We're launching a new token soon. Wait, you just said that last month. Two months ago. With it's a yeah, secret, bro. You got to keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. My eyes very peeled in the bear market. One's coming up. Uh, sometime within the next 11 days, bro. What's the name of the coin? It's called a secret. 10,000 X. Launch. Where have you been? It's a stealth launch. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't nobody going to know anything about it except for the divs. It's called okay. the Jack Lynx Beef Jerky. Pepper. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Watch a token come up now. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a legal battle waiting to happen. You need partners? Beef no. jerky. Louis? No, no, bro. We Kit don't. Kat, man, are you forever lost, bro? <laughs> need help? One million dollars? Yeah, if, 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 if you can retweet if you can retweet a couple of tweets, that'll that'll be perfect. So Leo, this is Jolly. If you can hear me, um, while you're on, can you just um, highlight, you know, a few things, you know, what would be some of the things that you're ex you'd like of the community during that time um, when the token is launched? You know, tweet, retweets. You know, just highlight some of the things. That we yeah, have. honestly, you know, it's like it, it, it's 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 the obvious stuff, right? The obvious stuff, and it's not like it's not like I'm gonna have people. Uh, be slaves in front of the computer to be like, yo, nobody leave in front of your screen. Like, you need to do this. Like, no, just do what you know is necessary to be done. Like, if we put a uh, you know bullish tweet out there, go smash it. Like, it's gonna take you one second. If we put a poll out there, go smash it. Like, if we're having Twitter Spaces and and you know you could join and you're not doing anything else, like join, be a part of it, talk, ask questions, give feedback, you know, share your experiences. Like, if you if you've made you know, gains on, on anything that we've, we've released in the past. Talk about it. If you've made losses, talk about that too. But like, we have nothing to hide, right? Like we're, I want to say we're one of the most transparent uh, teams in, in the space. Like whether we, we do something good, we talk about it, whether we do something bad, we'll, we'll also talk about it. But at the end of the day, it's like um, what I want out of the community is uh, for you guys just to be active, stay active and be bullish. Like, get excited be excited because we are doing some exciting things but at the at the core of it like there are going to be thousands of people coming in and you know how those thousands of people are in the new launches they come in without any prior knowledge of anything and they're automatically bullish because they're like all right we're bag holders let's work for our bank let us work for your bank um that is you know we do what we can like our work is 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 gonna get done but it's a team effort in terms of like community and developer to push something to the next level. And believe it or not, the community's part plays a much bigger role than what the team's part plays because um, the community is what pushes projects to the next levels. The teams bring the projects and they introduce them to the world. The communities are what, what push it to the next level and kind of solidify them as legendary projects in the space. So we will do our part. 
you guys do your part by, you know, being bullish, being active uh, on social media, being active in Telegram. Uh, you know, if, if you can tell a friend about it, tell a friend about it. If you could tell, you know, uh, if you could tweet about it, tweet about it. If you can be a part of the, the wave of whatever we're doing at that given minute, moment, week, day, be a part of it because at the end of the day, every single soul counts. And that's, that's literally all I ask. So visualize this, right? Your people are like, okay, a thousand people. It doesn't sound like much on the internet, but imagine, imagine a thousand people standing in your house or standing in your living room. Like it's a lot of people. And you know, the more people we have, it all adds up, but just visualize it like in, in person and you guys will get a good idea of what numbers can do in terms of, you know, people coming together. So let's all come together. Let's all just have the same agenda. Let's have the same goal and let's just push towards that goal. And I think we're going to be successful. That's it. How heavy you yes, guys going yeah. on this point? How what? How heavy, how much you guys putting in on this thing? I'm going deep. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy my own bag. Um, I'll, I'll try to be a top holder. I mean, that's for sure. Um, I mean, just yeah, like everybody I'm else. For. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, to get in, bro. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I mean, look, I, I can, I can get in, I can get in whenever I want. And like, just like in any other project that I ever get into, um, if I ever buy into a project, like, I don't just buy a hundred dollars worth. Like I buy like, you know, 5,000, 10,000 in, in some cases more. So, you know, to me, it's just like, I don't, I, I try to be a top holder in any project that I get into. So that's what I'm going to try to accomplish here. And I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't like I'll put my money in, I mean, you know, I'm going to be investing in, in what we're doing guys. Like, just like everybody else, like there's no team tokens. I'm going to be just like everybody else. Just like, just like you guys, just like, uh, Peter, Max, everybody, we're just going to be acting as a community. We're going to buy our own bags, just like everybody else. And it's going to be a team effort to push this thing to a billion dollar market cap. Like, can we do it? It's time will tell. So, Leo, uh, this is like a hypothetical question, but I was just curious, um, like on the bird launch, few transactions were from community members that we speak to after the launch. Um, they were saying that few transactions were failing of one ETH because it was um, yeah. over so, Max so, Wallet at that point. So, like, I mean, not recommend, but let's say if we do launch at 50K market cap, like an ETH transaction will most likely fail in the very beginning. I mean, I don't Yeah, so, so that's why... Um... Well, that, that, the, the reason why it was happening on burn was because there was a max transaction and not just a max wallet. There was a max wallet and a max transaction on this one. It's only going to be a max wallet for like the first 15 to 30 minutes, something like that. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to buy an ETH or you're trying to buy two ETH or whatever, like it'll be like a thousand, like if we say like a thousand tokens is the max tokens that you can, you can buy or, or whatever, um, the max wallet is at the time, which is for example, say, say it's a thousand, then people would be like, all right, cool. I'm going to buy a thousand tokens, whether that costs half an ETH or whether that costs one ETH or 10 ETH or whatever. Um, that's how much it will let you own in a certain wallet at, 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 at for the first 15 minutes. And then after 15, 30 minutes, when we, when we release the, um, max wallet, uh, threshold then people can, can buy as much as they want. So, you know, if you want to buy, you know, a hundred ETH worth, two hundred ETH worth, you'll be you'll be able to. All right, thanks, bro. And there's no such an option on Uniswap to hit max wallet, right? You just kind of need to figure it out. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure it. Well, you won't have to figure it out. We'll let you guys know like how many tokens are are going to be a max wallet. So you'll just be like, okay, cool. I know a thousand tokens is a max wallet. I'm gonna try to buy a thousand tokens. So, so that's right, what I get you. you know, it'll be. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, any other questions, guys? Like anything else that we, we want to touch on? If not, we can wrap this up. And I I do, like I said, want to have at least two Twitter spaces this week. So I'm either going to do Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday, but we're going to have two for sure this week um, on the SD Stealth launch page. 
Leo, cousin KK. Are, are you going to launch live on Twitter? That would be pretty bullish to do. That would be um, super hype. And... That could be a good option, concrete, not going to lie. But I do want to announce it, like, first in, like, I want to drop the contract address first in the Telegram. But then also, I can't, I can't launch live on Twitter now that I think of it, because it's going to be a stealth launch, right? Like if I tell people right. like, Hey, we're launching yeah. at four, if, if we're launching at four o'clock and it's just going to be burn, it's going to be the same like hype launch that we get got for burn. And people are just going to like not have a fun time getting in because there's like 10,000 people trying to buy at the same time. So, you know, I, I want to avoid that. Yeah. Cool. So for, that, yeah. That, that makes sense. Stealth yeah. and drive your marketing. That's what we're at. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. What's up, Cuz? You had a question, brother? Yeah, how y'all doing? Good, bro. How are you? No, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, all this uh, launch stuff sounds great, but back to the original, the fire hands. Yep. Did I, did I read it? They're out. Yes, they are. Um, if you bought burn token in the first seven days and of, of it launching and have not sold you should be eligible to to claim it um it's pinned the 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 claim link is pinned in our chat cool i did see that just checking hey on the on the on the fire hands if uh because i bought right in the beginning and then i never sold but i transferred them to another wallet and it's saying that i'm not uh uh eligible for it are you trying to claim it with the original wallet that you bought with? Yeah. That's a good question. I'm going to have to double check that. I'll double check. Yeah, you're going to. I'm, I'm yeah, that's. That. The, I believe that's the wallet that you're going to have to to use. So, so double check that. If you if you do have any issues, just um just shoot me a DM. Will do. Right on. Yeah, I don't. I, for this launch, man. This is great. Cool. I yes, sir. I don't think the transfer matters because I transferred my tokens, but I claimed it on the original wallet that I bought it on. Okay, yeah, yeah, I tried two two different wallets, but I just as I was asking the question, I'm like, wait, I don't think I tried that wallet yet. So yeah, no, I'll, try, it, I'll check that out. It works fine, Utah, because I I bought on one wallet, transferred it, and I claimed mine. So okay, cool with the original. Perfect. Yeah, sweet, thanks, guys. No problem. What up, Kika? You want to say something? Okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll just end it here today, guys. Um, we'll leave it off at what we've talked about. And then uh, I'm going to throw a couple more tweets out uh, today. So if you guys see them, just you know, interact with them. That'd be nice. But I'll go ahead and um, uh, after I schedule the Twitter spaces, I'll, I'll share it in here as well so you guys know when to expect it. Uh, but, but other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Uh, if, if you guys have any further questions after this, feel free to just ask it in the chat and I'll be monitoring it here and there. So I, I'll, get, I'll definitely get back to you guys in there. Um, also nice to see a lot of the, the old people, you know, hopping in here to, to kind of see what's going on. So I, I do really appreciate you guys still keeping an eye out on what we got going on in here. So, so thanks for that. It's definitely good to see everybody, everybody back well, in here. Um, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Cerritos. I know, man. I, I mean, we talk, we talk pretty often in DM, so I, I know you're not going anywhere, bro. So, you know, definitely, <laughs> definitely good to see you here. Um, but yeah, guys, we'll leave it off at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off and go back in the other room and see, see uh, what type of progress we made, and we'll definitely be chatting very, very soon. So, as always, I'll leave you guys with the: if you miss Doge, that sucks. If you miss Shiba, that also sucks. If you miss. <laughs> if you miss the stealth launch after listening to us talk about it for the last literal two months, I, I literally do not know what to tell you. Like it, it is etched in stone that you suck. So <laughs> don't miss anything that we come out with. You know, we're, we're definitely dropping some bangers here, ladies and gentlemen. So as always, yo, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. If you need me, feel free to tag me in the chat. Um, have a good rest of your day. Love you guys. Peace. Love, peace. <laughs>